Elisa is a wonderful tool to analyze material. When you irradiate the samples with protons, you collect X-ray and you can determine the composition of the element. What you see there is uh, the X-ray uh, spectra collected by this uh, X-ray detector we use for the analysis of the samples. Each peak corresponds to X-ray emitted by another element. And we have the main composition is uh, iron, and you see these two lines correspond to the element iron. But we can detect the presence of titanium, of calcium, potassium as well. So we want to use an accelerator like this to analyze archaeological samples. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we're not going to inflict any damage on those samples. So that's what the experiments we're doing today is to, is to work out where that damage threshold sits. The reason we're specifically interested in working on this machine is because we're we're sort of interested in the idea of portability. So as archaeologists, we are constantly going out into the field, into areas of the world where we cannot necessarily take samples away and then take them into a lab to be analyzed. We're actually really excited about the idea that you could put something, say, into the size of a shipping container and take it to countries or to museums that may not have access to this kind of technology.